And we are very, very pleased to be bringing you an um, in-studio interview this morning. And it's been so long since we've done that, but we have some breaking news to share with our listeners. We are going to be talking with Charlotte Campbell and Linda Gallagher of the Northeast Texas Symphony League. And some wonderful news for our community. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Linda Gallagher. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. You thank are, you for having us. Thank you. You are president of the league. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And Charlotte Campbell is in a different title now. You are what? <laughs> treasurer. Treasurer. I'm treasurer this year. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, lay it on us. What do you got? Okay. For 28 years, the Northeast Texas Symphony has brought the Independence Day concert always the Saturday before July 4th. This year, because of what's going on and uh, the changes that we're making, we just not, did not feel comfortable having the concert at the end of June on June 27th. So we have arranged, uh, with the help of lots of people, to have our, our concert this year on September 5th, which is Labor Day weekend. We're excited about it. We did not want to cancel the event. We love the event. And so it will be September 5th on the square with concert and fireworks. And Charlotte's going to tell us a little bit about why we canceled. It was a, it was a struggle. It was a very hard decision to make. <laughs> Please do, Charlotte. Um, it was a hard decision. We lots of prayer and thought went into it. Um, I have to preface by saying I come from a very different background with a more grim reality of what's going on with COVID um, because I'm the administrator of a nursing home. So I see what's going on in the towns around us and that weighed heavier on my mind so we decided that given the information we have and the cases seem to indicate that it's just now coming into this area it would be safer to just postpone it and um, we didn't want to have the risk of an outbreak coming back to this big community event so um, it's 2020 and America's done great at adapting, and so we're just going to adapt as well and celebrate a little later. And we do hire as many local musicians as possible, but we also bring, our conductor comes in from Louisiana, and there's a group of mu musicians that come in with him, and then we also pull from the Dallas area to get the quality musicians that everyone has, has learned to appreciate and expect with our concert. We have several local musicians that have played some of them, you know, every year since the concert started, but, but we do pull mu musicians from other areas and there's just no way to social distance with, with the musicians. Well, isn't that the truth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we did, but we have a lot of people to thank and I want to start by, by thanking our sponsors who, who we've talked to and they've agreed, you know, with our decision and of course that's Alliance Bank, Grocery Supply and then the, the past couple of years Christus has helped us with a sponsorship and we've talked with them and, and they're very supportive of our decision and they, they plan to support us again as well. So we're just so grateful to them. And then also Joey Baker in the city. Joey Baker, on September 5th, the Red, White & Brews event was to take place on the square. Joey has worked with Logan Vaughn and the uh, Red, White & Brews committee, and they have graciously agreed to move that to uh, Tesla Park across from Pioneer Cafe in that area. Okay. And so their event will be going on during the day on September 5th. It ends at 7, and then we will have our event that evening. So we just want to thank them, you know, Joey, the city, everyone that's been involved and helping us get the date change. Mm -hmm. Such good news. Well, we did receive the news about the cancellation and we were all like, you know, kind of down about yes. that. We were. Um, but to the rescue came a bright idea. Yes. 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 And it actually came from our conductor. He said, one of the musicians said, what about Labor Day weekend? And we said, you know, that we, that's great. If we can get that pulled <laughs> off, that'll be wonderful. So we think it'll work. You know, it's different. The main thing we want to say, too, is that the veterans of Hop Hopkins County, we do this for you. You know, we honor you. We appreciate you. And, you know, we still want to do something to show you, let you know how much we appreciate you. So it'll be September 5th this year. Okay, September 5th, Labor Day weekend. <laughs> Labor Day and weekend. Of course, we're going to fly our flags anyway. We always do here in Hopkins County, but how much more exciting this is. Because our Independence Concert, and it's still called that, is that yes. right? Mm -hmm. um, is a red, white, and blue event. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and we no. have some, it'll be the same music, basically, but we do have a surprise this year. Bill Owens will be performing, or at least that's the plan right now. Okay. And so that will be something new that we're adding. And, and so we think it'll be a good event that everyone will enjoy. I'm thrilled. We are, too. We are. We're looking forward to it. We also want to thank people that have sent in their membership you know some have been very generous this year and you know we expect it to be down a little bit with everything that's going on and we understand that but just i want to say thank you to everyone and i know charla uh, <laughs> agrees yes. with me just thank you so much but if you would like to help us we do still need funding it, it's very expensive to put the concert on you know with the musicians and the fireworks you can send your donations to p.o box 251 or you can just hand a donation to any any board member of the league. And we would really appreciate that. Is there a set membership fee? There is a set fee. The individual oh. fee is $150 um, for the year. $120. $120. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I try to get a little extra. <laughs> but with that being said, we accept any amount. Okay. Any amount. It You know, yes. whatever you want to give, we, we're just so grateful for it. Absolutely. And this is a support of the arts yes. in a very big mm -hmm. way. Yes. It is. Because we want to continue bringing this concert for the 30th year and on. Um, and we look forward to having it at the 4th of July next year. And we appreciate this community support. And has it been 28 years? It has. <laughs> this will be the 29th. Is that right? 28th or 29th. Okay. We always okay. have to look back. <laughs> but, you know, we have some very big shoes to fit. To feel. There's been a lot of hard work down through the years putting this together, and, and we've had so many good board members that have, have really worked to make this event what it is today. So, you know, we're grateful for our history, but we just want to be able to continue that and, and to give the music to the to Hopkins County. Um, you know, and people come from, from out of town for this event. It's, it's a big event. It is a big event. Mm -hmm. Now, for those who may have tuned in sometime during the middle of our interview would you just again repeat our big news of the day the independence day concert will not be held this year uh, on the saturday before july 4th but it will be held on labor day weekend which it will be september 5th and we'll announce the times we'll probably start a little earlier okay. because of the time of year uh, than normal you know normally in uh, in july or june we start around eight a little before eight but we'll start probably probably a little bit earlier than that on September 5th, but we're excited about it. We think it's going to be great. Um, we hope the community is excited that we're going to have it and not just canceling it completely, and we hope you'll turn out and help us enjoy it. Okay, a very joyful event presented by Northeast Texas Symphony League. Yes. And thank you both for being members of that and bringing this kind of thing to our community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Linda and Charlotte, for coming in today. Thank you so much. Yeah.